Hello and welcome to the room we call the kitchen. This is where we conduct tests of the process itself and also offer a product test for the customers. Today I like to follow up with you here on training video for new Amaru owners and introduce the leophilization process from start to finish. So the assumption is that you have already seen the first video. If not, just click on the tab in the upper right corner or you can find the link in the description below this video. First, we will prepare the Amaru itself. We will put the bottom eye stopper and shelving system into the product chamber. We will slide it all the way to the back and then slide it back a little towards us. Connecting the power cord for shelving system is easy. It's just good to remember that locking the connector is only done with the button ring. We then hang the loose cable on the hook of the shelving system, so that it doesn't freeze on the ice. Of course, don't forget the upper eye stopper and the chamber seal. The seal needs to be lubricated with a thin layer of grease for vacuum systems. A thin coat is meant to be about at the same as well spread layer of sunscreen, so any clogs of grease, whether on the gasket or the product chamber door, are bad. If this isn't the very first leophilization, it's definitely worth checking the oil condition especially if more than one person is working with the device. The oil catch bottle must be empty and the oil in the vacuum pump must not be cloudy. If this is the case, it must be changed. Another video tutorial will show you how to do this. Before you go to prepare the product, you can start the pre-freezing, which will start cooling the chamber and the shelving system. Whether you will be drying liquid or solid product, you must fill all product trays evenly. Therefore, it is also a good idea to weight or measure the load of the each tray. This is because the total weight of the load relates to the time required to set up the process in the freeze dry. Amaru has capacity up to 10 kg of food, but we use diced vegetable with a total weight of 7.5 kg for all tests. This eliminates the need of slicing. Remember that the smaller the pieces, the faster the drying process. We have an older but still valid video about this and you can find the link to it again in the description below. Every product need to have temperature of minus 25 degrees Celsius or below before the actual freeze drying can begin and now it's good time to introduce two ways how to achieve this. Freezing can be done by Amaru itself. You simply load the product at the room temperatures and set the freezing time. Once this time has elapsed, the freeze dryer itself will enter the drying phase. The advantage is that the entire process is fully automatic. The disadvantages are the higher energy consumption and the fact that the freeze dryer does the work of conventional freezer. To save the time and energy cost, it is advisable to freeze the food in the freezer down to minus 20 degrees Celsius and only the final temperature reduction is done by Amaru. This can save 10 or more hours of machine time of the freeze dryer. With the product loaded, all that is left to do is to insert the fabric seal, close the door and move to the control unit. We already done the introduction in the last video, so we know that the whole process of freeze drying in Amaru is about setting two parameters. If we have transferred the product from the freezer fast enough and chamber has been pre-freezing for at least 60 minutes, we can set the freeze time to 5 hours. In our case, where we are loading product that is chilled or even at room temperature, it is recommended to set the least 15 hours for 7.5 kg of product or even 18 hours for 10 kg batch. Since we know that there is exactly 7.5 kg of product in the chamber, the drying time can be set to 30 hours. After pressing the start button, Amaru will still ask us if we have forgotten anything and it is advisable to go through this checklist after all. When the process starts, 
the first timer to come down is the freezing time and the vacuum pump starts for a short while. This is the press seal function that locks the chamber by slightly reducing the pressure. Be sure not to walk away from the machine until the vacuum pump turns off again. If anything prevents from the reaching vacuum, Amar will display an alarm message on the display and abort the process. This is usually a poorly closed door or dirt on the product chamber seal. In any case, it is unpleasant to come back to the machine a few hours later and find that the process has been interrupted in the first 10 minutes. Amaru will perform the entire process automatically. Once the cooling time has elapsed, the vacuum pump starts again and the drying time countdown begins. The display usually shows a screensaver with the remaining time. You can tell whether it's freezing or drying time by the color. The text is blue during the freezing and orange during the drying. When the drying time has also expired, Amaru will show on the display that the process is finished. However, the freeze drying process continues and the machine will wait for the user to arrive. Here is worth mentioning a small tip. For the vast majority of products, there is no sense to terminate the process if the pressure is higher than 200 millitons. The process is finally terminated with the stop button and the vacuum release is started straight away. Now it's advisable to prepare the space for all product trays and we can unlock the chamber door. Here we recommend removing the bottom tray and checking by touch if you can feel any cold or even frozen spots on the product. To do this, it's a good idea to leave one larger piece on the bottom tray and break it. The remaining water would be in the middle. In our case, everything is perfectly dry. What to do if it wasn't, we'll see at the very end of this video. Next, you need to remove all the product from the trays from the machine and wrap dried food. Depending on the ambient humidity, it can take hours for a product to absorb the moisture and stop being crispy. Before the actual packing, we have time to disconnect and remove the shelving system and start defrosting the chamber. There is a thick layer of the ice on the walls, it is possible that the ice stoppers will not come out. It doesn't matter and you can leave them in the chamber during the frosting. The chamber defrost is set to 20 minutes. During this time, the ice should have fallen off the chamber walls and should be removed and chamber wiped dry. To have the amar ready for the next time, the contents of the oil catch bottle must be now returned to the vacuum pump. As I stated earlier, it may happen that the product is not well dried. In this case, there is a post drying function. When you find that the batch is not yet ready, you need to close the chamber again and set the parameters for post drying. This is again the freezing time and drying time, just as we entered at the beginning of the process. The cooling time in this case should be at least 8 hours if you have found chunks of frozen water in the product. If the water in the product is not even frozen anymore, you need to set the cooling time to 13 hours or more. I can advise you on the drying time in this case because it depends how wet the product is. It's up to your estimation, similar when you are roasting a chicken and need to enter the extra time. It is usually worth entering 6 to 12 hours. The drying function is designed to save imperfectly dried product. In practice, it's certainly advisable to start with a longer time and reduce these times with each next identical loading. The product will certainly lose better if it's dried in one process than if it's dried additionally. brings us to the end of the drying process in the Amaru freeze dryer. In order to make our video trilogy of initial training complete, we will add a final part of maintenance and troubleshooting over time. I hope this video has managed to make it easier for you to get started with your own freeze dryer or to remind you of the basics if you are already an experienced user. Thank you for your attention and I look forward to the next video.